לך ואוספתו את זקני ישראל ואומרת עליהם, פה קוד פוקדתי. לריבונו שלו אלו מתרץ מוישה, תל זה דזקנים. פה קוד פוקדתי, זה הסימן, הקוד שהם יש, ואם אתה אומר את הקוד, אתה תהיה מקובל על משיח. אתה תהיה גואל. הם יודעים את זה מסוידו. מי שאומר פה קוד פוקדתי, הוא משיח. The question is very obvious. If everybody had this semen, that you, whoever says pokot pokadati, there's no code anymore because anybody can say pokot pokadati. So what is the big semen that he got? Bianca gave it to Yosef, and Yosef gave it to the Shvotim. What is the semen? So the Rosh wants to say a teret. Akoch, you have to say that Moshe Rabbeinu was not in the house of his father, He was in Zgadl Bebe's Paro. He was only two years in the house of his father until they finished the Yeniko. So Moshe Rabbeinu did not hear from his father that secret of Pokot, Pokadati. That is the Teretz from the Tur. But this is quite difficult to understand. We have a Midrash that says that Moshe Rabbeinu, when he was born, he was... an Ilui, and he was able to speak to his father, and he told him, the first thing he told him is, Sholom Alecho Abi Moiri. If that's the case, it's very possible that Amram did speak with Moshe, and did reveal to him the secret of Pokot Pokadati that he got from Yosef, and Yosef got from Yankov Avinu. In Sefer Chikre Leif, brings a very interesting mehalach to understand the Pasha. Yosef was sold to Mitzrayim and through the Midyonim because of Levi. Levi is the one who sold him. Yosef said over, the one that took me down to Mitzrayim, he has to take me back to Eretz Yisrael. It has to be Levi himself. And he has to suffer what I suffer. He has to go what I went through. Who is that? Moshe Rabbeinu. Vayelech ish mi beis Levi, vayikach es bas Levi. Doesn't say his name. The Iker over here. The key word is Levi. Yosef was taken away from his parents. Moshe Rabbeinu was taken away from his parents. Yosef was put in a bor for 10 years and two extra. But 10 years he wasn't a bor. Moshe Rabbeinu, the manager says, was put in a bor by Yisrael. Yosef comes out from the bor, he gets married, and he becomes a melech. Moshe Rabbeinu comes out of the bor, and he gets married to Tzipporah, and he becomes melech kush for 40 years. Yosef went through the Midian, he was sold through the Midian. Moshe Rabbeinu was sold in Midian. He was an Eved in Midian, he was in the bor in Midian. The brother sold Yosef, Levi sold Yosef without Rahmones. Moshe Rabbeinu did not want to become the Goel because he's afraid that he's going to be poigem in the covet of his brother Aharon, his older brother. Moshe was mesaken, the head from Sina between the brothers. Ephraim and Menashe did not take the Atzmos Yosef. Who took the Atzmos Yosef? Moshe Rabbeinu. There was a Nes that Yochevet turned to a young lady, Naru, Nishapach and Naru. She was 130 years old, and she was Nishapach and Naru before Moshe Rabbeinu was born. What is the big deal? She gave birth to Aharon three, three years before that, and to Miriam three years before Aharon. So what is the big news? So the Mephoshim explained she became a Besulo, And Moshe Rabbeinu was a petrechem, just like Yosef also was a bechor, a petrechem. Moshe, in a certain bechino, was also a bechor, a petrechem. So Yosef told the Shvotim, the one who is going to take ba'alizim es atzmoisai mize, pokot yivkot elokim eschem. That is the semen that he is the pocket. 
not only the words, but also has to be the person, the Gavro has to go through what I went through, and he, was, he has to be Mesakin Mechilas Yosef. And that's a Ve'ele Shmois B'nei Yitzvah Raboi Mitzrayim. That's a connection with this Pasha to the previous Pasha, the end of Pasha, Ve'echi. Yosef was a shepherd, and then he became a Melech for 80 years. Moshe Rabbeinu was a shepherd, and he was a Melech for 80 years, 40 years in Kush, and 40 years in the Midbar. David Melech was a shepherd, and he became a Melech for 40 years, and David, Moshe, and Yosef were all Nifter, Shabbos, Mincho time, that's what we say, three times Tzid Koscho, Tzid by Mincho, Shabbos.